My name is Nate Mulek. I'm 12 years old in 7th grade at Greece Olympia in Rochester, New York. My project entry is a biomimicry invention. I have designed and created a prototype hiking sole based off of the remora fish. The remora sole. Why the remora fish? Well, I first learned about the remora fish while watching a nature documentary. Here's what the remora fish looks like. During the documentary, they talked about how the remora could stick on to just about anything due to their unique dorsal fin. This made me remember a trip to Vermont where I couldn't get any traction from my shoe. Here's a picture. So, I thought of an idea to help hikers, especially when they're on slippery or wet surfaces. The first thing I needed to figure out was how the remora was able to stick on to slippery surfaces. This would help me design a shoe using biomimicry or the science of using nature to solve human problems. In this case, my testable question is, how can I use the remora to help humans walk up inclines more easily? Here's what I learned. Remora, also called shark sucker or sucker fish, are a species of fish with a special type of dorsal fin. Here's what that looks like. The remora adheres by a means of a flat, oval, sucking disc on the top of their head. The disc contains a variable number of crosswise plates. They use this sucker to latch on to different marine life. Most commonly, they latch onto sharks, whales, and sometimes boats. These creatures have a symbiotic relationship with their hosts. For an example, the shark. The remora gets scraps from the shark's meal, and in return, the remora rids the shark of any parasites it may have. Here's a picture of that symbiotic relationship. The New Jersey Institute of Technology says, the adhesive disc on the remora's head used to attach to sharks, rays, and other pelagic hosts is actually a complex mechanism that includes a modified fin structure with teeny spikes called lamellar spinules or lamellae that generate friction to adhere to the host. Based on what I learned about the remora fish, I knew that I needed to create ridges that would grip to the ground like traditional hiking soles, but I also wanted to include something to replicate the lamellae to generate enough friction to improve adherence. My sole, as you can see here, is shaped and created to look like the dorsal fin of the remora. I also added tiny lamellae, right there, toothpick tips, to add more friction. You should have a picture of my engineering design process, but here is what it looks like instead, in case you don't. You can also see it right here up on my board. I went through a couple different designs before I found one that really worked, but I followed a method that helped me improve my designs as I went. The first thing I needed to do was identify the problem, which was walking up inclines without losing your footing. Second. I needed to explore. I researched about the remora fish, I researched if there were any hiking shoes like mine, and I also really needed to dig in on how the dorsal fin actually works. 3. Design. I found a method to develop my designs. Here is a picture of my 3D model design ideas. You can also find it on my board right there. Next, I needed to create. I used special sculpting and bait clay to replicate the remora dorsal fin and shape it to size. Try it out. As you can see here, my first design is not, did not go so well as it was too thick and clunky. Now I had to make it better. I went back to the drawing board and redesigned my sole. I made it more thinner and flexible. I also added a spine, as you can see here, and the lamellae. I'm very proud of my final product. Create, now I had to try it again, and this time my, my remora sole worked great. Now I would like to demonstrate a normal shoe without anything on it versus my first prototype versus my final design, the remora sole. Now for the first shoe, as you can see here, the shoe slides right down. Now for my first prototype. It still slides down, but it's only a little bit better. 
Now for my final design, the Remora sole. As you can see, it sticks right on. This is how I created the Remora sole, and I think it should be used on every hiking shoe in the world. Thank you for listening and for this amazing opportunity. At this time, are there any questions?